what's up guys welcome to a new episode today matt and i are down south in west wittering and we're going to be showing you around this incredible four bedroom home priced at two million pounds we'll put the agent's details in the description and the right move link so if you want any more information on this house make sure to head over there now a little bit more about location we are 500 meters from west wittering beach it's just under 3,000 square feet and the views from the kitchen and living room and main bedroom are absolutely insane let's start the tour on the exterior so as you come into your driveway you've got this kind of electric gate and um, that slides across here and then we've got this driveway coming up from the road and we're actually going to be touring another property right next door um, that's priced at 1.35 million so it's a little bit different so make sure you watch that video when that one comes out too um, but this one is the one we're going to be looking at today so let's go take a closer look we've got a double garage here at the front i love the architecture and the aesthetic of this Same. so much beach vibes right especially with the sun shining for england um, it definitely makes this house a lot better. It's a gorgeous day. You've got some lovely pine trees in the entrance, which always just look gorgeous, but it's very, very private for a new build property. I have yeah. to say that's one of, I think, the key features of this home. Okay, let's start the tour inside now. So the front door is just here. You've kind of got like a shaded porch. And you've got this retro kind of 1930s glass, which backs onto a boot room, which we'll show you yes. in a minute. Okay, quickly take the shoes off. Before we carry on this tour, I'm gonna to pop the floor plan up on the screen. As the house layout, we've got the three bedrooms downstairs, the living space and kitchen on the ground floor, and then another bedroom on the top floor, which could be your principal bedroom. Um, we're gonna actually start off on the first floor because that's, for me, the best bit. That's where it's happening. That's where the incredible view is. Let's go. Okay, here we are. So on the left, we have the kitchen. And then on the right of me, we have the living space. Firstly, flooring wise, there's parquet flooring, which is quick step laminate, um, super high quality and a lovely finish. Now let's check out this kitchen. It's a Leitch kitchen, which is a German brand. And the worktop they've used is Fenex, which is quite a new um, company, or new thing, but it's really durable. And it's kind of like, I think it doesn't let scratches in. Yeah, ultra scratch resistant. And it also, is no, there's no glare. Yeah. Because in this space, um, we were talking to the developers and the whole, I guess, reasoning and idea behind it was so you make the most of the views all around and you're not distracted yeah. by like glare in the kitchen. And the Bosch induction hob is in the center island with the extractor fan in the middle. So your ceiling is looking very sleek. And look at all these drawers. And then you have like these deep ones with the glass paneling on the side. And then over on this side, you've got lots of worktop space. As you can see, it goes all the way back to the um, window. And the sink is like ingrained into the worktop, so it's super sleek. And then over to this side, we've got the um, drinks fridge. So a nice, nice big drinks fridge there. Then the dishwasher is in this one, Bosch dishwasher. But just take a look at the view out here, Matt. I think you might have to make it a bit darker so they can see. And the view to the left insane as well it's just literally 360 of just incredible views let's have a sneak peek at this view out here incredible yeah, it's so totally private okay and on this side of the kitchen we've got a full height gotta love a full height fr freezer this one's a freezer <laughs> yeah that's a full height bosch freezer twin bosch ovens and I think this is your storage and then your full height fridge is this one here. I love the LED lighting as well throughout all the spotlights. Yeah. There's a lot of ambient lighting and then main spotlights. Throughout so the well. bespoke lighting throughout this house, they actually um, put a lot of effort into making it 3000 Kelvins. That's right. Which is basically the closest to daylight possible. So it's a really natural light. It's not like harsh white lights. Um, but yeah, I thought that was interesting to mention. And they've done that throughout the house and it's just yeah. a lot nicer to look at, like you say, it's yeah. the most realistic 
light colour and lighting does make a big difference in houses for sure. Then round here we've got a powder room and the toilet is actually separated off with another door um, but good little thing to have on this floor if you need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Coming over to this side the four bar stools underneath the island so a little breakfast bar um, just to eat at and then should we head out to this terrace first? Yeah let's take a look. Yeah. There's actually two terraces you've got another one over there I would put some garden furniture out here, get some chairs, maybe a table. It'd be a hot tub right out here for me. Yeah. <laughs> Big hot tub there, overlooking there. Gorgeous. From out here as well, let me turn around and show you guys to the house. You'll see where you'd usually have all the guttering in here. So it's all nicely been tucked away, which is a small detail, um, as you can see on the video, but it makes a massive impact when you actually look at the house in person. Um, to the overall design and then what's also nice if you want to show one this um, flower area yeah they've put two of these in one here and one on the other terrace um it's kind of a little flower great for attracting yeah. bees yeah um, oh look there's actually a bee down there yeah and this is cedar so quickly before i forget this is where your dining table would be because you've got your nice chandelier kind of light up there and that's a cool balcony, which we'll go up to soon. And then this side of the room would be your sofas. So TV on the wall up here, I reckon. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, nice. And you've got a... Um, a st uh, log fire. burner. Yeah, fireplace over there. For the winter. Yeah. Because even in the winter, you know, you've still got these big open doors, the big w um, windows have a big night sky view of all the yeah. stars wouldn't you over the that's the english channel over there the isle of wight if you're familiar with that area so these doors i'll just give you an example they kind of come in and shut so you push them out and then they slide all the way across nice yeah and this is the second terrace area isn't it check this side out so you've got a view out over to your garden and this glass balustrade which makes it look super contemporary and the ocean is or the sea sorry is, the english channel english channel is just over there and richard branson's mum used to live over in that building over there and you can also see some beachfront houses yeah they're worth a lot of those houses there there's nice houses all around you isn't there like yeah. you pointed out the houses behind the kitchen are very picturesque as well so yeah nice yeah. views all around okay we've got the main bedroom to show you upstairs um, and then three more bedrooms downstairs so i'll take the camera matt you can show us the rest yeah sure because we've got this really cool feature up the stairs haven't we so come on up again we've got nice ambient lighting leading us up the stairs it's actually a wider than usual um, staircase throughout anyway and then here we've got a glass passageway so you can come out of the bedroom which is there look down onto the dining table area it's just a super cool feature isn't it to be able to walk along and obviously lets a lot more light down into that open plant area too so cool okay so this is the bedroom this either could be the principal bedroom or the one downstairs could be depending on how you want to live in the home um, but yeah check out these gigantic windows that you can actually go out of and have a little chill so it's almost like having a balcony up there to be fair very picturesque you can see some people on their bikes over there yeah. cycling and then the best window in here yeah look at the size of this window this triangular window and this is again where you're just going to see those big starry nights amazing views um, completely uninterrupted really also to mention that there's radiators up here but the ground floor and first floor are under floor heating exactly and it's got an air source heat pump yeah so we've got one more velux style window over here as well and then let's go check out the other side so quite cool here so you walk through um, a dressing area so you've got dual sides um, for each of you and then it comes into the ensuite now obviously the first thing here is you've got this gigantic bathtub You've got hand grower sanitary wear um, throughout the majority of the bathrooms. And then obviously we've got the dual sinks over here, 
the LED touch mirror. There we go. And then round here is the shower. Nice big shower. Just get such like calming vibes from this house. And you. Yeah, and this is spot. a cool sliding door. Good energy. And from here, right, you can be in the bathroom and literally look directly down here all the way to the sea um, through that window. Really nice design. Okay, shall we show the last three bedrooms? Yeah, we've got all the bedrooms and the garage and obviously all the outside. Okay, let's go. Here we are on the ground floor. So this is where Summer took us into the tour. We've got the main front entrance here and let's work our way around. So actually the main bedroom is through that door. We'll show you that in a moment, but let's go through the other bedrooms first. So through here, this is bedroom number three. Yeah, so you've got the other two larger ones with the ensuite. This is still a really nice size room, as you can see. One of the cool features is each room has its own little outdoor terrace area and the option to open these doors up, push out, slide, and literally step on out onto your garden. Yeah, I love how each room has their own little private terrace area. So good, right? And you've also got the heating control here. See, like 32 degrees today, as oh, we wow. filmed this tour. <laughs> We're sweating. <laughs> Now, this is the fourth bedroom. So you could either have um, twin beds or it would be an amazing study, obviously depending on your, um, your requirements and everything. And then again, outdoor terrace area here. And I just think having a little space to go outside for each room is a really nice feature. Yeah, I'll just show you guys the outside space. But again, amazing greenery all around, some more pine trees. I love pine trees. Now through here, this is the other main bedroom. First up on the right, we've got this sliding wardrobe, which was similar to the bedroom we showed you upstairs. So you've got loads and loads of space. You've got hanging rails throughout as well. And this is quite cool. So you can see a curved wall feature in the bedroom. And now this over here is the ensuite for this room. So you've got the sink, toilet, and a nice big shower. Okay, now obviously we're gonna to need to go out there, um, but I think we should go out to the garden after we show you the family bathroom. But you can see, just check out how bright this is. Probably picking up on the camera and making it look really bright. No, it looks good. Okay, let's check out the bathroom on yeah. this floor. All right, come on in. Let's check it out. Look at the size of this space. Like, okay, so let's show you the shower first. Gigantic shower. And these are all porcelain um, tiles. And um, we've got the vanity over here with Laufen sanitary ware. Yeah, how good is this mirror storage? Nice and hidden. And that's also an LED mirror as well. And over here, obviously we've got the big freestanding bathtub. You've got ambient lighting throughout and like nice down lighters so you can have that on. But I think this is the perfect bathroom to come in after those long days on the beach. It's on the ground floor. So you come in all sandy and just <laughs> hose off and you don't have to go upstairs. It's cool. Okay, from here, point out again the staircase that we originally went up. We've got a loads of space under here as well. Which again, just makes the whole area feel nice and big. And now this is the boot room a really important touch. You've got those space for wellies and stuff after those winter walks. So the tumble dryer is just in this one and that worktop space is a good place to fold all the clothes. And yeah. then behind me here, you have a sink and through that one there, there's a washer. Next up, we're gonna check out the garage. Come on in. Now this garage is six meters squared. So you can comfortably, comfortably fit two SUVs, open all the doors up, or perhaps you keep a sports car or something down here as there's lots of amazing roads surrounding the property. We've got the electric up and over door. Let me just show you that. I'll get the right, um, the right key fob. We've got one key fob for the electric gate. 
Here we go. Good speed on the on the garage door for sure. Yeah. If you're in a rush, you're straight out. <laughs> and then to the garden is oh no, so that goes back to the side access. Yeah, right. and then takes you through to the garden as well. Over here we've got the electric vehicle charger. Plug your Tesla or other electric car just in there. And then also there's a sprinkler system in this property because it is very much open plan. Um, that's also a little nice safety feature for you guys. And then I love the flooring. It's a really nice soft flooring. You know a lot of garages have quite uncomfortable space to walk on. This is super comfy. Um, and yeah, so should we go check out the garden? Yeah, let's, let's go. Pick out, get our shoes and head out. You join us outside in the garden of the property. This is the staircase up to the terrace that Summer shows you. So I thought I'd show you guys from this angle. I actually love this feature, especially from the main bedroom. Or no, sorry, the living room. You can come straight down. And yeah, this is the garden. Oh, I see a palm tree. Yeah, a baby palm tree. These are porcelain towels um, for the patio. Yeah, so they're nice feel on bare feet. And obviously you've got all this lawned area. But let's check out the house from the back. How about that? Gorgeous and the perfect sky to showcase the property. Yeah, it's perfect weather. Yeah. Now the lawn, great size. I, I agree. I think it's a really nice manageable size, particularly if you were looking for a second property, um, perhaps you're from London. Um, yeah, easy to maintain, but super private. Nice, right? And as we mentioned, the beach is just 500 meters away. Gorgeous beach. You've got lots of beachfront houses there as well. And um, we're super close to the town. So nice little shops, fish and chips, wine, all that <laughs> sort of thing that you do in houses like this. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy checking out this place. Make sure to go over to the description if you're interested, all the agents details are there. If you like this video, hit like and also subscribe and then watch the next video. We're going over to tour that next house, which is at a slightly lower price point. So it'd be good to compare. See you soon.